Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Um, I really, I'm trying, um, trying uh, to uh, solve in the, um, the homework, but I have several problems, teacher. What is the problem? Um, this is the, I'm going to, to okay. show, show Okay, you. let me just give you permission to share. Go ahead. Share your screen. And we can see the problem. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Mr. Abel, you got a new haircut. Yes. Thank you. Nice. You look great. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> more, more young. Yeah, you look younger, definitely. Thank you. Oh, Raul, what a beautiful girl you have there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Yo dije que linda esa mujer. Ah, it's me. I said. <laughs> yeah. So self-esteem to the top. Okay, I am going to show it either, but I want to I want to see what is your problem, eh, Raúl. Dele compartir y le da solo compartir a la pantalla de la plataforma. Sí, pero es que aquí quizás este compartir. But, eh, y vaya ah, a hacer la, vaya aquí, a hacer la pestaña. Eh, exactly, la verdad. Ajá, este, allí me he quedado y no encuentro qué es lo que me da. Ya lo hice varias veces. Es el apóstrofe. Ah. El apóstrofe es el equivocado. Es el que va para el otro lado. No, es el que queda recto. Tiene que ser el que queda recto. Este. I don't... Sí, pruébelo así. Dele, mm. solo dele... dele... Eh, ajá, solo de limpiar, solo vamos a ver si es lo que... Le... No. I don't okay. like... I don't like... Commuting... By... by bus. By bus. Ok, eh, remove the period, quítale el punto, tal vez es lo mal. El I don't punto. like commuting by bus. Este. Ajá. Voy a Prueba. probar... There no, you go. no, no. Okay, I am going to show it to you. Se lo podemos hacer desde la mía para que lo podamos hacer, okay? Sí, está bien. Give me, give me, okay. There you go. Well, welcome everybody. We are going to be working on the platform today. So please, if you have it open, I will appreciate it. So you can check along with me, okay? Para que podamos ir revisando juntos, porfa. Necesito que abran su plataforma y que lo tengamos listo, okay? So we can check together. Give me just a second. I don't. Okay. This kind of. Okay. Está haciendo lo que se le antoja a mi computadora. <laughs> oh, ella, ella es independiente. So here we go. Ya está cansada. Yeah, it's like, nah, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> But we were sick on Monday, so you have to, you have to do it. Okay, so here I go. I will open it for you. And here. So we are going to be covering all the way through a uh, section four, five, and final exams. Okay, that is what we are going to be covering today. Let me share my screen with all of you. And we are going to start checking everything, right? The ones that the wait, section three and the midterm were the ones that we completed before. And in section four, right, in section five is the one that uh, Raul is working. Hello, Edgar, tell me. Yes, I think Raul is missing one M. Commuting, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. In this one, let me just open that one. Empecemos de ahí. Vamos a desordenarlo. Okay. So I think it's right here. I don't like commuting. It's ing, 
maybe that's the letter that you are missing. Here I have my answers. Let me just show it to you. And when you write, for example, Raul, do you have it exactly like this? I don't like commuting, commuting by bus, exactly like this. Can you check it? Uh, commuting by bus, by bus. Así lo tengo, teacher. NG. Sí, commuting. I don't like commuting by bus. I am going to send it to you here. And then you just copy and paste. Ay, no copia el punto. Put the period at the end. Póngale punto. Copialo así como se lo envía en el chat y lo pega. Probemos. Trataré de probar. I don't like commuting by bus. The next one, I am not very good at learning foreign languages. I am not very good at learning foreign languages. The next one says, I am not good at solving other people's problem. Aquí el problema era la M. Right, la MS, que al final teníamos problems, but it's just problem. There you go. And the next one was, I hate working with a group or team. I hate working with a group or team, right? That you have it right there. And let's see, I can't stand sitting in a long meeting, right? I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. Okay. And the last one I'm interested in, I'm interested in managing my time better. There you go. And I don't mind talking on a cell phone. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. And I think uh, the last one is, I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Exactly. Okay. And there you go. Those are the answers. Did it work, Raul? ¿Te funcionó? Eh, algunas, algunas. Estoy tratando con, con las demás, teacher. Las demás okay. me están funcionando. Hagamos copiar y pegar del chat. Don't worry. Porque a veces es el apóstrofe o algún espacio, alguna línea que le haya quedado, el punto que no le puso. So it's pretty confusing in some cases. So, but that was uh, section five. Let's go over section four so we can go in order and we can actually see and complete everything. Okay. We are going to go to section four. In section four, you have three different evaluations. Let's check that. Okay, I will, we have, yes, three, right? One, two, three. The first evaluation that we had in section four, it's uh, the ones that we were talking about the future, the past, the things that we were comparing the different time contrasts. And we did this exercise in class before the automobile and it says, match the phrases with the appropriate information. Before the automobile, what is the one that goes with this phrase? People didn't travel as much from city to city. People didn't travel as much from city to city. Before there were supermarkets. People used to shop at small stores. People used to shop at small stores. About 500 years ago. People played the first game of golf. People play the first game of golf. In most offices today. People work more than 40 hours a week. People well. work more than 40 hours a week, right? We did this one in class. Este lo hicimos en clase. In many cities nowadays. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Soon. Most people are going to work at home. 
People are going to work at home. Where is it? Let's see, let's see. Here. Most people are going to work at home. In the next hundred years. Doctor might find a cure for the common cold. Doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Sometime in the future. They will be, they will probably be cities in space. There will probably be cities in space, right? And there you have your answers, right? Did you complete it with me or did you have it done? Ya lo tenían hecho, lo completaron conmigo? Yes, no? Yes? For better or for worse? What is the meaning of this? For better or worse? Para bien o para mal. Say for better or for worse. And in this one, they are discussing changes in their neighborhoods, right? And we are going to check what each people um, talks about, right? So we have different conversations here. The woman, what is she talking about? What changes is she mentioning? The man, what changes is he mentioning? In the third woman, what changes is she mentioned? So please pay attention to this one. Let me see if I am sharing my audio. Okay, and here we go. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. <laughs> what was she talking about? environment she's talking about the environment right is it better or worse is it better now or worse 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 really better <laughs> it's uh, up better <laughs> listen listen to this listen to this specific oh, for over 20 years and have you noticed a lot of changes during that time oh yes quite a few this is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. The city better. has planted trees everywhere. It's better. It better. is such a difference. What about the men? Let's listen to number two. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. He's Three. talking about... I can't believe how much... Transportation. Transportation. He's talking about transportation. transportation. Is it good or bad? It's bad. It's bad, right? Because they say, like, he waits for a long time for a bus and it is always full. Welcome to El Salvador, I said. What about the last one, the yes, woman? Sir. What is she talking about? What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course. There were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. She's talking Page about... 60. Families. Families, right? Families. Is it a good change or a bad change? 
bad change. It's Most bad, fun. right? It's changing for the bad because they are not having children anymore. It's like nowadays, right? Have you seen that? Ya se fijaron en eso que también nos está pasando en esta sociedad. Well, in some places, right? right. Because, because in other places it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven children. Y todavía podemos con otro, they say. In many of the cases, they say, yo voy a tener gatos, yo voy a tener perros. But they don't have children. So it is pretty complicated because in the future, we are going to be just adults and no kids around. So that it's a huge problem. Los perrijos, they say. I have one perrijo, but I have a kid as well. <laughs> so it complements. <laughs> Let's go with the last one. In this one, you have to complement with the clause, right? We were talking about this yesterday. So I am going to ask different people to complete the if clauses that we have here. And Jenny Elizabeth, if you eat less junk food. Um, you may lo uh, lose weight. You may weight. lose weight. Very good. If you walk to work every day, Edson. If you walk to work every day. Senor Edson, there you go. Uh -huh. Good bueno. teacher. Ah, hello, hello Edson, how are hello. you? Hello, good evening. Ajá. Sorry. ¿De qué color eran las mangas de Napoleón? Del chaleco no, encantado. Ok, uh, you, you'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Ah, very good, very good. <laughs> Lo agarré en curva. Gabriela, Michelle, if you don't get enough sleep. You won't be able to stay awake in class. You won't be able to stay awake in class. Raúl, if you exercise. Um, um, you might feel healthier. Healthier, very good. Uh, Edgar, if you don't get married. You will have more money to spend on yourself. You will have more money to spend on yourself too late because you are married already. <laughs> I'm married already. <laughs> okay, all the ones that are married. Ay, Plum, I'm my <laughs> tuviera el ahorro, they say. But no, we got married. We all got married. So those were the exercises for section uh, four. And this is the one that we were reading yesterday, right? Are you in love? And the next one, let's go with the next exercise. In section five, we also have three exercises on the platform. Exercise number one is the one that we were doing with Raul. I don't know if you fix it. Los pudo arreglar, Raul? Yeah, teacher, I, I can fix all the statements. Yay, very good. So we did this once. And as we were checking, and just for the record here, we have the exercises, right? We did this ones already, para el record de la clase. The first ones, I don't like commuting by bus. I am not very good at learning foreign languages. The next one, I am good at solving other people's problems. Are you good at solving people's problems or not? Or you make it bigger? I'm good at solving other people's problems, teacher. That's nice, right? What about the rest? <laughs> ¿Qué tan buenos son para resolver problemas? Me too, teacher. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. Jenny is I'm good. Excellent, teacher. The, excellent. the problem is make it the problem bigger, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hate working with a group or team. Do you agree or disagree? I hate working with a group or team. I know that you said. Or do you it, like it? It depends. It depends. <laughs> it depends on the group, right? It, uh -huh. <laughs> I can't stand and sitting person. and the teacher, right? <laughs> oh. I can't stand sitting in a long meeting. I don't like that one. 
Yeah, imagine like la reunión solo durará cuatro horas. Don't worry. It's like what? <laughs> I am um, interested in managing my time better. Do you manage your time in a good way, people? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I don't mind talking on a cell phone. Do you do you like receiving phone calls? Or not? I don't, I don't mind. You don't mind, right? I, I like it, right? I like it. I used I used to to speak by phone with my relatives. Okay, so you are don't mind talking on a cell phone, right? The, well, yesterday I was telling you that in some cases people look at the phone and they are like yeah, se cortó. <laughs> <¿Qué querías? laughs> What's up, right? <laughs> because they don't like talking. I enjoy eating lunch out every day. Do you like to eat out or to eat at home? Uh, I like um, to eat, um, eat out. Once in a while. <laughs> once in a while is good, but it's expensive, right? <laughs> Imagínense si comemos afuera todos los días. Bye so bye salary. Uh, yeah. <laughs> five dollars de eso pega ahí I have money <laughs> there you go you have the money you say job hunting job hunting and this one is uh, they are talking about the different professions that they have and we will listen to Bill and Shannon and Ben right Bill Shannon and Ben let's go over it and then at the end you are going to tell me their professions okay listening Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three, Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay, there you go. What about Bill? What is the job that, the you, job? Will, that you will recommend? Fly attendant. Fly attendant. A flight attendant because he wants to work with people to interact and to be out of the office. What about Shannon? Doctor. A doctor. And Ben? Mother. He's a mother, right? Okay. He, he says that he wants to be fit in order to work on that, right? He wants to be a model. And the last exercise that we have for this section is choosing the correct answer. Complete the sentences with appropriate information. I would want to be a nurse. I wouldn't want to be a nurse because... Because I don't like hospitals. I don't like hospitals, right? It's like, mm -mm -mm. thank you, but no, thank you. I would <laughs> like to be a novelist. Because I love, I love creative, creative writing. writing. Because I love creative mm -hmm. writing. Very good. I could never be an accountant. Because, because I'm terrible, I'm terrible with, with, number. with numbers. I am terrible with numbers, right? I am an accountant. I studied that in high school, but I am bad with numbers. 
I don't know how I survive. I will make a bad waiter. Because, because I have, have a terrible, terrible memory. Because yeah, I have terrible, terrible memory, right? I could be a flight attendant. Because I because really enjoy traveling. Traveling. Because I really enjoy traveling. Very good job. And here we go on. That was the last one, right? Yes, the last one. And the final exams, okay? Si no los habían terminado, hagamos los juntos ahorita para que podamos completar todo. If you walk to work, you won't have to pay for the won't bus. Have to pay for the bus. Pay for if you have vacation, you mm -hmm. may feel better and more relaxed. Okay. If, if you, you take a vacation. If you get married, you will have less may. We have we have free time. You free will time. have less free time. The yes. next one, Fiona carefully plans her day so she's never late for appointments. She likes to be punctual. Punctual. Are you punctual people? Punctual. Yes, I love to be punctual. I love to be punctual as well. Okay. Right? Rarely, Some, rarely. Rarely. <laughs> I am on my way, you say, and you are on your way out of the shower. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry tries to help people and never says no when someone asks him for a favor. He seems like a really general, generous, generous man. Amy and Sam get angry easily and almost never smile. Everybody thinks they're, they are moody and Bad temper. Bad temper. Bad temper, right? It's like oh, sh always entry. Level headed, it's a different thing, and hard working is very dedicated, so it's not possible. Excellent job. So, those were the options that we had for the first exam. Ching ching. Let's go to the next one. The second part. This is a listening. And in this one, we have some conversations, and we're going to choose the correct answers. Sylvia, Harry, and Jim. And here we have Mac, that is the last one. So let's listen to Sylvia. Okay, sorry. Units nine to 10 quiz. Part A, listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Sylvia. Can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. What about Sylvia? What is going on with Sylvia? Happy with her laptop. She's happy with her laptop, right? Do you want to buy my typewriter? What for? <laughs> According to Harry, if Marsha stays in her apartment, what's going to happen? Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But Marsha, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Hey, according to Harry, what is it going to happen? So she has more time to save for house. Exactly. If she stays in her apartment right now, she will have more time to save for a house. 
What about Jim? We have three options. It speaks both French and Spanish, likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant, or thinks Jim needs to take a vacation. Let's listen to this. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling, and... So, so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad, I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. So, what is Jim's dad's opinion? Likes, likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. Uh -huh. Because of the benefits that he can get. It's like, ah, do you think that we can get cheaper tickets? Let's do it, right? And Mac, we have three options. Is going to be a counselor, has a lot of patience, or wants to get a job at a national park. Let's listen to the last conversation. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. Okay, so, Mac, what is he going to do? Wants to get wants a job. To get wants to get a job at a national, national park. park. He wants to get a job at a national park. Very good job. So in this one, complete the conversation. We're going to choose the best option. And I am going to ask Eduardo, help me with the first one. I'm not very good at not typing. Very good at typing. Well, I do. Well, I do, right? It's like, sorry, but I can't, right? Well, I do. I like working with computers. Jancy, what do you have? I like working with computers. Um, um, so do I. So do I, right? So do I. In this case, as you have a normal verb, do is the one that it's going to be on the answer. So do I, right? I don't mind driving to work every day. What do you have, Jose Daniel? I don't mind driving to work every day. Who can help him? Can no. I do that? Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Tampoco you, right? In this case, when you say neither do I, it's like it's, you are agreeing with a person that it's saying something that it's negative but positive at the same time. It's like, I don't mind teaching at night. Hey, neither do I. Tampoco yo, right? It's, you agree with the person. I like working with computers. So do I. Yo también, right? And in this one, I am not very good at typing. Oh, I am. Oh, I am, right? Oh, I am. Well, I do is not the option in this case, right? Oh, I am, right? So, and now it's totally correct. Let's go with the next one. You have to choose the correct adjective. If a person carefully plans her day, so she's never late for appointments and she likes to be? Punctual. Punctual, Punctual. right? When you plan everything. What about number two? Can you help me to read sentence number two? Todos me ayudan a leer el número dos, please. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry tried to help people who never say He's generous. Next one. 
And the last exercise to finish with the platform and the module, it's a matching, right? I would like to work as an English teacher, they say. Because I am patient. Because I am very patient and enjoy helping people learn. Yes, you have to be patient to be a teacher. Yes, you have to love teacher. people. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you have to be very polite with others. Yes. If you are bad tempered, mm -mm -mm, okay. Que repita, le digo. <laughs> 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 yeah, so if you are bad tempered, you cannot be a I'm teacher. Down. <laughs> <laughs> que no me entiende. I wouldn't <laughs> want to be a flight attendant. I wouldn't because want to be a I don't like to travel. Because I don't like to travel or work with people. <laughs> because I don't like to travel or work with people, right? I will make a good waiter. Because I have an excellent because memory. I have and an I excellent like memory. Like and people. and people. I enjoy meeting people. Very good. I could never become a doctor. Because I'm too disorganized. Because too disorganized. Disorganized. No, I don't know. Disorganized. 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 And I can't stand hospitals. Right? And I can't stand hospitals. It's like, I know, right? It's like, no, hospitals. thank you, right? Hospitals. Hospitals. So that was the platform right so that was the last exercise and what we are missing right now is to send the screenshot right? ya muchos de ustedes lo enviaron necesito que envíen el comprobante del screenshot y las barritas así como lo enviaron sus compañeros para que ya nos quede constancia que ya estamos done okay that we are ready and let's see yes i have received a couple of you already so please, if you have it right now, you can send it to the group. Si ya tienen eh, las barritas completas, si ya tienen todas las secciones completas, eh, envíenme el screenshot. Ahorita voy a pasar lista. Pueden seguir trabajando en eso para mientras. Y cuando escuchen su nombre me dicen here or present, okay? You can finish working on the last details. Alejandra Beatriz. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Ángel Alejandro. Thank you. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Ceci. Cecilia, ¿dónde estás? Ok. En Olocuiltex. César Guadalupe. Present teacher. Edgar Abel Tejada. Present teacher. Edson Stanley Hernández. Uh, present teacher. Eduardo José Melgar Melgar. Here teacher. Elvira Lorenza Álvarez Romero. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ever Ernesto Santa María. Ever. Ever, where are you? At home. Sleeping. Okay, so there we go. Eh, sí, Elvira, yes. Gabriela Michelle. Present. Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Ramos. Present teacher. Joanna Yesenia. Joana Yesenia, thank you. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Carla Fabiola. She's on the chat. Catherine Alejandra. 
Caterin. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel. Señor Miguel Ángel. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Thank you, Reina. Ruth Elizabeth. Ruth, 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 Elizabeth. Okay. Samuel Isaac. San Samuel. Present, San teacher. Thank you. Sandra Leticia. I'm here, teacher. Jancy Astrid. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Ever Ernesto. No estamos bien. Okay, anda paseando. Okay, thank you for the ones that are sending me the uh, the picture. Thank you, Gabby. I already received it. And thanks to all the ones that are sending it right now. I am receiving it. I have Nidia. I have the Jenny. I have Gabriela. I have, uh, let's see, Loren. Okay, so please keep sending it because we need it so we can prove that we already finished. Okay, así tenemos ya la, el comprobante de que ya hemos terminado. So we are going to finish on these 15 minutes that are missing because that was the last exercise that I had planned. We are going to work a little bit on the questions that we started yesterday. Okay, we are going to work on the questions, okay? If you are in love, falling in love, staying in love. Okay, here you have, it. let me share it with you. Thank you, thank you, I keep receiving them, very good. So yesterday I sent you the questions for you to practice and for you to choose one of them, right? I sent you only one set of questions so you can actually give an answer. Tell me people, what will you do if you, if you cannot sleep tonight? What will you do? ¿Qué harían si no pueden dormir esta noche? What will I, you do? Uh -huh. I will make chamomile tea. I will make chamomile tea. Chamomile tea. Chamomile is Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, manzanilla. manzanilla. Uh -huh. I will make chamomile tea. What um, would you do? glass milk. I will drink a glass of milk. Yes. Yeah, don't drink any other thing because if not, you are not going to fall asleep, okay? I will pray, pray with God. I will pray. That helps a lot, right? Believe it or not. When I can't sleep, I, I used to pray with, with God. Yeah, and God is like, I go to sleep again. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, keep an algebra next to your bed, right? Agarre la algebra de Baldor, le lee las primeras tres páginas, and you will fall asleep. <laughs> okay, the next one. Let's see. If your TV breaks, what will you do? Si se les quiebra la tele, what will you do? Buy, um, buy a new. Buy a new? <laughs> okay. I will buy a new one. Ah, give me two. Very in la curaça. How will you feel if you fail the test? If you fail I the test, I, I, will I, feel bad. Bad. I will feel I bad. bad. I will feel bad. I will feel bad. I will cry. Okay, you will cry. <laughs> if you get a lot of homework, how will you feel? Will feel stressed. I will feel stressed. Okay. Por eso les terminé hoy la plataforma para que no tengan tarea el fin de semana. Y nadie, ay, me estoy estresando. No, nothing, nothing. The next one. What will your teacher say if you are late to class on Monday? He is What? going to punish. You will love the next module. Okay, you are not going to sign in for the next module, right? No lo vamos a agarrar. The next one, if I feel bored, if I feel bored on Saturday, what will you do? 
tomorrow that you say, ah, I, I am bored. I, I will sleep. sleep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I will go to the beach. I will go to the beach. That's so nice. When I feel bored, I just watch TV. <laughs> That would be beautiful. What will you eat if you feel hungry after the class? If you feel hungry after the class, what will you eat? ¿Qué van a comer si se sienten hambrientos después de clase? I will eat a A what? I will eat a sandwich. You will eat something. I will eat a sandwich. Well, it's a flam. <laughs> ah, come on. Yeah, thank you. MB has entered to the group. Right? La envidia ha entrado al grupo. <laughs> a three milk cake. So, a yogurt. A yogurt. Ramen. <laughs> a ramen soup. Yeah. I, I, I have a... Uh, uh, Thai friend, uh, well, a friend from Thailand, that when we were living in Arkansas in the middle of the night, like at 11, she used to say like, hey, do you want soup? And I was like, ah, soup in the middle at 11 p.m. And she was like, eating soup at 11 p.m. And I was like, ah, give me some. <laughs> and I was next to her eating soup at the, in the middle of the night. So, but it's a, a traditions that they have, right? Japanese people used to drink soup anytime for yeah. any illness. Yeah, for they, they love to drink soup. So it's like very, it's very difficult to understand, but it's tradition. If you want to relax after class, what will you watch on TV? I will watch a sitcom. A sitcom. Uh, Netflix. <laughs> Netflix, good. I will watch Netflix. But specifically, Ugly Betty. <laughs> the... <laughs> I will tap up around. La Reina del Sur. Red. La Reina del Sur. <laughs> Resident Evil. Resident Evil, yeah. Well, that's a good one, definitely. So, what Working medicine... Back. You had the walk in the yeah. What medicine will you take if you catch a cold next week? A cold is like a cold, a, right? A terra flu. Terra flu. Very good. That's very good. Terra flu. I will bring the lemonade. 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 I will take lemonade. lemonade okay. <laughs> Biro grip. <laughs> Biro grip. Sí, Tampoco bueno. me paga nada por este comercial. <laughs> <laughs> what is the other one that it's very famous? I will um chamomile tea. Chamomile tea, good. Prepare what is the name? Okay, prepare a cup of tea. Very good. A palagrip. <laughs> That's another one that it's very famous. Big uh, now, Baporu. Big Baporu, yeah. Well, Big Baporu is magical. You can use it for everything. Yes. Si le pregunta, si le pregunta a mi abuela, para todo sirve. <laughs> Definitely. It's like, hey, I have a headache. Ponete big. Hey, I have a cold. Ponete big. Hey, I have sore throat. Ponete big. <laughs> so everything is with big, right? I am stressed. Echate big. So a big is magical. It helps with everything. With everything. Ah, me golpea, me golpea. Espérate, te pongo big. So. If you decide to eat out tomorrow, which restaurant will you go? Which restaurant will you go tomorrow? I will go to Claudio Canela. Ah, really? To Claudio Canela. So next to Claudio Canela, it's my job. So you can go and look for me. Yeah, si va Claudio Canela y se asoma a la par y me encuentra. When will you go to bed if you are really tired tonight? What time are you going to go to bed? After finish this. Literally that, next, next, next <laughs> class. As soon as the class In, Immediately. <laughs> imagine. So I am going to say like, well, have a beautiful night. <laughs> you will be sleeping already. <laughs> oh, no, oh, okay. You have to take a shower. That's good. So you can sleep 
fresh. If you don't eat breakfast tomorrow, will you feel hungry or not? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Right? I will feel hungry. I will not. I feel sad. <laughs> I won't feel hungry. I will feel sad. <laughs> if you have some free time on Saturday, will you study more English? Uh huh. If you have more time on Saturday, will you study more? Nice. Yes, I, I will. I probably will okay. study more. <laughs> Thank you. You need to study more. That's very good, right? I'm very happy that you told me yes, because many students say no. What is the next question? Will you get a cut if will, you decide to you? get a new pet? pet? Right. Will you get a cut if you decide to get a new pet or not? Or any other type of pet? No. Maybe what? a parrot. A parrot or a parakeet. Good. You will get a parakeet. What other type of pet would you like to get? I would like to get a fox. A fox? Yeah. Wh oh, wow. What an exotic fox. thing. I know. That's a dangerous, but depending, right? If you get it very small, like a little baby, it might be, yeah, it might be good. If it rains tomorrow, will you bring your umbrella? Yes, I will bring an umbrella. Yes, I will bring an maybe umbrella because, I have, I want. because today in the morning, it was raining. It was raining. So you have to be very careful. So. In this case, I have some other examples of if clauses, right? Just for you to practice. And it's like, if I have enough money, I will buy a car. If we see her, we will tell her what the teachers say. What is the next one? If I go to the market? I will buy, I will what, buy what, you what you want. What you want. If I pass the exam? I will I organize. 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 If you feel bad? If I am not busy tomorrow, I will call you. If he calls you, if he calls you, you should go. If you work hard, you will win the prize. If you listen to me, you will understand me. If you lend him some money. He may, he may not give you back. So don't do it, please. If she doesn't <laughs> leave the house, everything, everything, will, everything be bad. Will, be bad. will be bad. If you don't go to the school, you will stay you will at home. Stay stay at if you don't win your scholarship, your father will be your very, father very, will be very, very sad. sad. If I have enough strawberries, I will make a If it doesn't rain tomorrow, we will, we will go, go on a picnic. We will go on a picnic. Good, very good. So I have here these eight different job skills. I need you to read the questions and tell me the ones that you consider you are good at. The first question, can you solve problems? Do you work well with people? Can you use a computer? Can you teach others how to do things? Are you good at math and science? Can you manage money well? Do you speak other language? Can you manage other people? How many skills do you have? How many skills do you say, yes, I can do it? No, I cannot do it. Do you have the eight skills? Uh -huh. Cesar, do you have the eight skills? I am studying public accounting. Oh, really? You're yeah, studying yeah. public accounting? Yeah, I... I like uh, math and science. 
you like math and science. You can manage money, I can imagine. So can you use a computer? Cesar, can you use the computer very well? Not very well, but I can sometimes. But I can learn, you say, I can learn. Okay, can you yeah. teach other people how to do things? Or do you just say like, quite lo hago yo? <laughs> that's, that's, well, it, it is curious because I am a teacher. I teach people how to do things, but in some cases I am the move, I will do it type of people. So everybody, let's, let's make the yes and no, right? El top, top ocho de, los, de las habilidades de trabajo. Can you solve problems? Yes or no? Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. <laughs> it, depends. it depends. It depends on the problem, right? Yes. It's like, se estaba quemando y ahora se está quemando el doble. <laughs> Do you work well <laughs> with people? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. I yes. 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 You say yes. Can you use a computer very well? Yes, I do. Yes. Can you use Excel? Yes. 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 Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very <talking> good. <laughs> Como que relación de Facebook. It's complicated. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Can you teach it's others how to do things? Yes. I no. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Are you good at math and science? I love it. No. no. <laughs> no. Not cool. Much love. Can you I manage like money it. well? Yes. No. Sometimes. Si no es mío, yes. Do you speak other languages? Yes. Yes. No. In this one, not this yet. this is not a good yet. question. This is a good question. For example, I am learning. It, I exactly. Am. I am learning. I am on the process mm. of learning. But you so cannot I'm say that you cannot. I'm in process, I'm in process right? A, a esta etapa de su vida, ya no pueden decir, no, no puedo. No, yo no puedo inglés. Say like, I am on the process of learning. I am learning the language. Okay. But you cannot say like, no, I cannot speak English. You know, uh, it's very difficult. It's very complicated. And you are it's speaking basic, in English, basic. right? <laughs> so... <laughs> You can say, I am, I am Teacher, learning, I am working. I think, uh, I think you never, you never uh, uh, finish to learn. No. You never finish to learn. You never I finish learning. You only, uh, you only uh, have a um, great uh, of knowledge. Exactly. You know, I have been on this business for 19 years of my life. And I am constantly learning, constantly learning every single day. Creo que nunca vivo un momento en que diga, ah, sí, sin preparación, ahí voy. It's not possible. You cannot do it because you need to investigate, you need to read, you need to practice pronunciation, you need to do many things. So you will never stop learning. You just keep improving. That's the only thing that you do. And I'm never you... going to say I can't speak English, teacher. Yeah. No, you can do it. But you can say, I can speak English. I can speak English better, very well, right? I am in the process of learning. I keep on the process of learning. Can you manage other people? Yes, that no? Yes, yes. Th that depends on the type of people, right? <laughs> if there are rude people, it's cool. It's difficult. It is difficult, right? If they are rude, if they are rude, it is complicated. So I am going to read the conversation to finish in this last minute that I have. And it says, oh, I am so broke. I need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you, an assistant. Entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I never been on a cruise ship. It says here, 
you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the pay is good, what's the phone number? It's 555-3455. So we are going to talk about jobs next week on Monday, okay? So okay. you don't have homework. Please send me the picture of the progress completed, okay? That's the only thing that I need. Send me the picture of the- I just sent you the, my picture, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I will, keep, I will keep checking and I will be receiving them today and tomorrow morning, okay? Have a wonderful night, my dear students. And I will see you on Monday for the next yes. class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank, thank, you. Bye. Bye. thank, thank, you. Bye. thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye -bye. See you on Monday. Bye-bye.